Hi guys, welcome back to Hunt and Fish and Family. So, as I said in a previous video, I have a backcountry hunt coming up. So, I'm gonna show you what I pack for a typical day uh, when I'm out backpacking and hunting, stuff like that. So, there's a lot of different ways to do this, so don't think that this is the only way to do it. It's one of those things you gotta kinda of figure out for your own. Uh, you can take other people's examples, uh, find things that suit your needs and your situation better. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going on a backpacking trip with my brother. We're gonna go uh, archery elk hunting here in Southern Oregon. So this is his, mine's actually packed up in my backpack already. So I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna show you what I packed up for him. So right off the top, what I like to do is I put the snacks for the day right on top. So what you do is you just reach in your bag, pull it out, here's your snacks for the day, and they go in a, a pouch or pocket that you can reach easily. So you have snacks for the day. That way when you're out walking, hiking, hunting and stuff, you've got your snacks and you don't have to go into your backpack, go rooting around and find them. They're right there, they're easily accessible, you can get to them, you can get a snack real, real easily. So here we go, one snack pack here. Uh, I got some uh, Scooby snacks that I stole from my kids. Thanks girls. So here we go, Scooby snacks, they are delicious. They're, they're uh, graham cracker sticks, cinnamon flavored, really good, I like them. One daughter really likes them, the other one doesn't. So we got some Cheez-Its right here, that's good. A little snack food. Um, I got Quaker Chewy Dips, also stolen from my kids. And Snicker Bar. Can't go wrong with Snicker Bar. That's tasty, nearly everybody likes that. Really good, and that's, you know, 250 calories right there. Just good when you're out hiking, you're backpacking, you're working hard, you'll smoke through calories like nothing. All right, so those are your snacks for the day. Get that out of the way. All right, um, so the first meal of the day is breakfast, pretty important. All right, so I got a uh, Pop-Tart, right? Those are great. You don't need to heat them up. You can just eat them. And then uh, Golden Grams. So like I said, this is what I pack for my brother. For myself, I like to throw in coffee. I can't start my day without coffee. Something warm to drink, a lot of caffeine, get you going, wake up. And then uh, your next meal uh, is gonna be lunch. So for lunch, what I did, like I said, it's for my brother, um, is I've got star-kissed tuna salad. So this is already made up. It's got, you know, mayonnaise and stuff in it. It's in a, um, like, foil pack envelope, which makes it easy. You don't have to do anything. You can just use your, your MRE spoon or your backpacking spoon and scoop it out. And then I've got these blue diamond nut thins. I really like these things. I eat these all the time. They're really tasty. And uh, that's to go with the tuna. All right, so to keep calories up because you're out, you're hiking, backpacking, you're working hard, you're gonna use a lot of calories. These are green bellies. This is a green belly meal. These have 645 calories for a serving size. That's a lot, which is good. All right. Uh, so your next is going to be dinner. So the tried and true backpacking meal, Mountain House, right? Chicken mashed potatoes. This is one of my favorite ones. It's like chicken dinner right here in a little foil pack for you to eat up. It's really good. This is one of my favorites. All right, and then um, your after dinner snack, some famous, famous cookies. These are really good. My favorite right here, chocolate chip. Just get a little snack before bed, a little extra calories. And then what I like to do so I don't get cramps is I will chug some Gatorade right before I go to bed. Hopefully you don't have to get up and go the, use the woods in the middle of the night. That's super annoying, but you gotta hydrate for the next day. Uh, if you're thirsty, you're already behind. So drink a ton of water. And that helps it taste a little better and gets your uh, replaces your electrolytes, which is basically salt. Which you know, if you know anything, that's what it is. But get your uh, so you don't get cramps and 
that'll slow your hunt down. And that's it for a typical day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Some seasoning, Tabasco sauce. So that's it for a typical day of hunting. Uh, you, like I said, you can, uh, you can wrap it all up and um, find things that will fit your style. All right, so I have everything back in the bag now. This one day's worth of food. I'm gonna throw it on the scale real quick. So we've got 28.6 ounces, which is a pound and a half roughly, a little bit more. So that's not bad. That's pretty good as far as weight goes. All right guys, thank you for watching. Go ahead and share like, subscribe.